Thank you for joining our webinar today. My name is Stephanie Hamrick. I'm with PEI, and we're a Microsoft Technology Partner. This is just one of a series of short webinars we're recording on a variety of topics that many of our customers are asking us about. Today, we'll be talking about remote workers in terms of how they work, what the experience is like, how technology enables many people to work from home without missing a beat, how the technology can be deployed quickly, and how to train employees to be successful using it. So with me today is Kevin Martins, who is a partner technical architect in the modern workplace space at Microsoft. Kevin, thanks for being here today. Hello, Stephanie, and thank you for having me on today. And guess what? I am working from home today. Let's talk about that. You were telling me how you have worked at home for many years and for multiple companies and have just really loved every minute of it. Tell me more about that. So, Stephanie, early on in my career, I worked many, many years ago in a Verizon data center, and I always went into an office. While there, or even to get there, I had to battle the Beltway traffic for a 45-minute commute each way. Then when I got to the office, I remember so many side conversations with people about their weekend plans, and I would hear about the latest gossip uh, around the office at the water cooler and so forth. These are normal things that happen in an office environment. But when I joined Hewlett Packard about 15 years ago, it was a 98% work from home position and everything changed. The role with HP had me traveling maybe two or three weeks out of the entire year, but the rest of the time I was in my home office. Was it a switch? Yes. Was it odd at first? Yes. Back then we used Jabber and the HP conference calling system to stay in touch as a team that was nationally spread out. I then started with Microsoft about nine years ago in another home office-based role and have seen the remote collaboration capabilities grow quite a bit over that time. Now with the cloud and Microsoft Teams, we can easily switch from instant messaging, file sharing, phone calls, video calls, conference calls, and more all within one interface. I don't have to go out to Jabber for chatting like I used to at HP. I don't have to set up conference calls in a different system like I used to have to do in HP. It is capabilities like these that keep us all so well connected and keep a team feeling like they are so much more closer together even when they are in fact physically separated by thousands of miles. So it sounds like over time and as technology has evolved to really support the style of work, you grew to love the remote working experience, is that correct? Yes. At first it was different, but yes, I did grow to love it. I loved the flexibility and how much more work I felt I was getting done each day. I no longer was sitting in traffic for an hour and a half each day. I no longer heard as much as the office gossip that oftentimes was just very time consuming. No longer was I hearing those distracting coworker conversations on a telephone call. I was really able to focus on the work that I loved doing and really appreciated it as a perk of the role. What was really great was the flexibility I had. Yes, I was working a lot, but if I wanted to step out for a lunch, I could. If I wanted to start work at 6 a.m. instead of 8 or 9 a.m., I could do that if I needed to take off in the afternoon. If I needed to step out to see one of my kids' events at school, I could. I could pack my kids' lunches and get them onto the school bus each morning and then be there when they got back. Having that type of flexibility was priceless. These are the things that HP and now Microsoft enabled me to do with a work from home model. My two working parents never had that flexibility 30 to 40 years ago. Keep in mind that with remote work, what matters is that you are available during core business hours, most of the time. But even more importantly, that work gets done. With all of the extra time you will have to work each day, you'd be amazed at how much you can really get done. Perhaps you can even squeeze in a workout here or there on a home treadmill or a home exercise bike. Yes, we all wish we could be doing more of that. So Stephanie, I can tell you that most organizations using Office 365 already own Microsoft Teams. Let's say an organization wants to deploy a work from home model. Is this something you have found difficult to do with your clients? This is a great question, Kevin. It's not difficult at all. And what is truly great for organizations using Office 365 is that Microsoft Teams is already enabled and deployed. People just have to know that it's there and start using it. 
And this is where having a partner like PEI can be instrumental to ensuring your organization has that smooth transition that we're looking for. And this includes one essential piece that many business owners forget, driving user adoption through effective training. In our experience, we've seen that just because a great piece of technology is sitting right in front of someone, it doesn't mean that they will know what it is or even click on it to check it out. And Microsoft Teams offers so many capabilities beyond simple instant messaging and conference calling that they likely wouldn't access or take advantage of them all. This really leads to inconsistent usage and ineffective communication. So what we focus on is user adoption and change management. By working with your management team to understand your goals for implementing a collaboration solution like Teams. Do you want to run more effective meetings? Do you want remote workers to feel more connected to employees in the office? Whatever your big picture goals are, we distill them down to build training sessions that not only include how to use Teams, but also why your users should consider Teams for specific tasks. We start by hosting training sessions, either on-site or remotely, like an interactive webinar for your team, where we train your users on the basics of Microsoft Teams. Then, once your users are comfortable, we give them access to our self-paced online training portal called Quick Help. This is where your users can learn the more advanced features to become what we call power users, and this will bring even more effective usage of Teams, whether your users are in an office, at home, or on the go using the Teams mobile app. Throughout this process, we'll monitor usage data with Microsoft Graph to identify increases in Microsoft Teams usage. We want to make sure everyone in your organization is actively using Microsoft Teams every day and really enabling a full collaborative environment for everyone to use. While working from home is truly a great experience, what about security? You have to think about, are instant messages secured? Are voice calls encrypted? Are file transfers safe? And is all of this compliant with industry regulations? So Stephanie, are your customers concerned in asking these types of questions about collaboration products they're looking at? Yeah, Kevin, we do sometimes get concerns like this, but Microsoft Teams is the most secure and industry compliant collaboration application available on the market. All communications are encrypted by default, whether in transit or at rest. This encryption is always on, which means nobody can turn it off. On top of this, the Microsoft Cloud holds over 100 industry compliant certifications, more than any other cloud hosting company. And these requirements are periodically evaluated by a third party and published online at aka.ms slash compliance where any one of our viewers can go check out for themselves. All data stored in Teams or anywhere in your Office 365 tenant is held in Microsoft's enterprise class data centers. It's not outsourced to another provider in an unknown location like many competing applications are doing. When our clients are looking into collaboration products, I often bring up security as a top concern and it's a real differentiator that Microsoft Teams brings to the table. It's really surprising just how often security is not the top concern when looking into products like this. Or rather, customers assume that all major players in this space are more or less equal when it comes to security posture, and this is not the case. So Stephanie, where could I go to find out more about the many features and capabilities in Microsoft Teams as well as built-in security? Great question. PEI has been offering collaboration services for over 25 years and has many architects with deep technical knowledge of design and deployment. We offer a no-cost Microsoft Teams strategy session where you can work with one of our experienced architects to find out how Microsoft Teams can be deployed if you're not already using Office 365 and, if you are, how Teams can be more effectively used in your organization including, of course, what we mentioned earlier as one of the most important pieces, training your users effectively. Please feel free to reach out to PEI using the information on this slide. And on behalf of Kevin and me, thank you for joining us for this 10-minute Tech Talk, and we look forward to hearing from you guys soon.